Scruffy cuddles, scruffy cuddles. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> you on board, Tim? As Richard Hewitt witters on meaninglessly, let's watch uh, uh, Scruffy lick all the calluses off my heels. Uh, that is uh, most. That's nice. Unfortunately, you don't lick the face. Now, see if we can get um, a below a ground level view if I can bend <laughs> up. <laughs> no. Right down there. Carry on, Scruffy. Carry on. Carry on. Action. Oh, God, that's she so. Got, she got cheap, didn't she? just been uh, wittering away with Richard here and denying you the privilege of his inane drivel. Continue. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I'll, I'll, I'll go to have one, have I? I don't know what to talk about, and I know you put it in my face. I don't want to say now, do I? Uh, just carry on with the same drivel you were on before. <laughs> Whatever that was. Which one was that? Oh, God, which, which, which drivel? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tell you about my mum when I'm boring about my mum. Oh, yeah, boring me about, about uh, yeah, his m mother working for Agriculture and Fisheries Department. Uh, snooze a thon. Carry on. And that's because we we're talking about um, you, somebody getting a job, so hopefully getting a job interview. Somebody not too far away from us at the moment. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, so I've got a uh, job interview tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so then, yeah, thank, thank you, breaking news, thank you. Although it will already, might already be two weeks ago by the time I publish this video. Carry on, <laughs> your mum, typist, agriculture and fisheries. Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food. And the reason we were talking was, um, oh, what got on, what got on? I was saying about some, uh, the, what, what? When we start work and they go to have a family and they go back to work again. Maternity leave. Mater after maternity leave, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we were talking about. Mm. Yeah, so if, uh, obviously that, that happens. You turn me upside down now. You, I spun you around uh, anti clockwise once. Anti clockwise? Yeah. Well, no, you might have gone clockwise because the, the camera went anti clockwise. Oh, so, so you would have gone clockwise relative to the camera. So I'm putting back, so back to normal mm -hmm. again. You go do that, that's it, yeah. You, you're yeah. untwisted. Uh, Carry it's such a neat little camera, isn't it? What is that? Inch and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half. Yeah. Where, where's your mirror here? Oh, yeah, there you go. That's what I'm filming with. It's so neat. Uh, and that's when you you can put in your. Um, it's magnetic. Yeah. This has been uh, taped to the back of your van in North Wales, and I was I was, I was chasing you. Yeah, because I've got a magnet, no a tape. metal bit on it, have I? You, 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 you oh, you're right. Magnetic it onto your bonnet. Yes, but oh, yours is but yours is you. fiberglass, so I taped yeah. it to the back. Yeah. Although your bonnet is metal, so I yeah, ma right. magnetized yeah, it yeah. to the bonnet. Yeah, yeah. right. I'm sure it's brilliant. And what what make is that? GoPro. 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 Oh, an expensive one. Well, I, I, well, I, I got this one uh, second hand, slightly damaged with a missing pixel, um, and it just uh, like overheats every now and then, yeah. and it's unusable for a couple of days until the battery is depleted, and then it's okay. It resets. And it's fine. Oh, so I'm right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you keep it cool by. Magnetic it on your bonnet, do you have it on? No, no, you never know, I mean the batteries can just, uh, yeah, melt down and uh, oh, you, you yeah. just wait for them to recover. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah, right, you see what I mean? I mean, that was just one take there and, uh, and God, I, I mean, I had to put up with about 20 minutes of that before I even yeah. press record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his lettuce and cucumbers and, and pears and all these sort of strange things. Like they're called um, uh, fruits and vegetables. Oh, right, well, okay. Yeah. And uh, now you're going to. Oh, well, what well, well, you going to eat? Well, uh, well, you see, Richard, um, after hanging out with you for a while <laughs> and realising he's actually only 12 years older than me. And you saw I mean, a state of me and thought. I don't want to be all that is double. Tonight. That is double the age gap between me and nomadic Kango, and he's just twelve years ahead of me. Yeah. And it's like, 
Oh my god, I, I just thought, right, that's that's enough of a warning. It just frightened me, frightened the bejesus out of me. So and I realised that he isn't actually as old as he looked. And I thought, oh god, I'm not I'm not doing that in 12 years, no way. And that just frightened me and back onto the vegetables again. So I'm a good advert for public health warning. Oh, you are? Oh, fly. Yeah, so I've been trapping flies with uh, with this um, cloth here. I, I just pulled it fresh out of the the white box, and you know, you obviously, you know, you go hunting flies and do something like that, and then you go, oh no! As, Ri as Richard wiped his bottom and put it back in the box, <laughs> but I didn't say anything. I, I just made sure I only held it on the other side that didn't have the <laughs> contamination but do you know what it is it's actually even more disgusting than that yeah it is <laughs> bloody nicotine yeah it's just uh, nic nicotine is just uh, so let's uh let, let's take a, fr a fresh side and just rub it anywhere you can literally rub it anywhere oh yeah. and that's what the inside of his lungs are covered that's with right. yeah um yeah it just it just tar like oh there's another fly just to wash all the wash all the cupboards down on a regular basis. But you know, Tim, I'm fucked now. I can't. Oh. I can't do these jobs. Oh, I'll um, I'll wash some of your cupboards down. <laughs> just just a little bit of wiping. Oh God, that the tar in there that hasn't that been done for some time. Uh, it's, it's like a year. I, I feel safe touching this one now. I I know what the stains are. It is a, a year of smoke uh, in the winter. Yeah. Well, we, all the windows are closed, aren't they? Oh well, I mean, I, I, I don't know what your, how your addiction feels, man. Oh. They won't get me. Exactly. And I bet even, oh, yeah. even after wiping it off, I can wipe it again and still get the same amount because well, it's tar, isn't it? You just wiping it about. Yeah. Get rid of it. Well, I'm sorry, my, I'm sorry, my job wasn't thorough. You know, going out my way, 10 o'clock in the evening, <laughs> wiping down Richard's van where, you know, he can't stand up for so long and do it. Oh, really got hot, soapy water. Oh, 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 I'm sorry I'm not doing it correctly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll just stop now, just before oh, I get any, any more criticism. I'm not going to get any left. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the real deal. But he really has to wipe his bottom in the morning. And that's the one you definitely don't want to touch. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Richard has a script. I mean, the the hundred new subscribers that doubled his number of subscribers that have just joined, having me told you to just a minute ago. Yeah, and you better, you better, right? What, at least hundred of you. Anyway, Richard has a script. He you know he's got. He knows where he is. He has different facts and things of special interest and nearby locations. And uh, oh, oh, yeah. trivia. Yeah, scientific, so to scientific interest. Wow, actually, well, actually, uh, you'll th I, th I think you'll find it's SSSI is a site of special scientific interest. That's right, you might. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. How many acres it is and all that. Oh, oh, yeah, you have to know how many acres the car park is, that's right. <laughs> the whole area. Oh, the whole area. It's yeah, into acres. Well, what about hectares for people under 70? <sighs> oh, oh, sorry, he is under 70. I can see <sighs> hectares. He's, how old you, he's actually, you're actually, what, 66? 60? Oh, I was 66. Wow, that's 66. Wow. That's what it looks like. Wow. You get old. Wow. I've been in pension up since March the 21th. Richard has a party trick. And the left one? I'm not going to the left one. I can't do one. the left one. I'm practicing my well, eye on one. Watch this. Left. <coughs> right. Oh, yeah, you can do it. How about one? How about one? That was years of practice, and before my hernia operation, I could also <laughs> independently raise whichever testicle I felt like. But after I had my hernia done, and that little muscle that went down to the left one uh, was, was cut and patched up with a net, so that little skill is no longer available to me. But also, I can independently open my eustachian tubes, left or right. You what tubes? 
the 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 inner ear tubes that, oh. that connect the throat to the back of the ear. Oh, right. Is if ever you happen to meet Richard Hewitt, and uh, hopefully it's all, it's deliberately and not by chance, then the way to deal with conversation with him is just to do like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, and then, really, and then what? Oh, did he? Where was that? Wow. What do you say? You, know, you just got to add that at random points while you've got your headphones in listening to, you know, <laughs> your favourite radio station. And if you happen to meet Tim mm -hmm. and he starts rabbiting on about the C word or the monkey thing or anything like that, make sure it goes in one ear and out the other. That's what it does for me because this is one of his favourite subjects. It's so draining listening to about them. Yes. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you won't put that on, on, on your No, YouTube. yeah, that, that'll be on there. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I mean, is, suppose you you discovered, along with 20% of the population, that there oh, was... Yeah. There was again, that there was some uh, horrific evil master plan to exterminate the lowest 80% of, of the population, and then you were actually meeting a member of the lowest 80% of the population, he just wouldn't want to hear any of it. First thing, it would have to go against his ego because um, I'm now making him look like he has an inability to discern and judge the nature of good and evil. See? <laughs> <laughs>